Ladies and gentlemen, as you may or may not know, I posted a tower refresh video alongside the launch of Beyond Light. This was just like a real simple basic 5 minute video and it ended up being the best performing video that I ever created by a long shot. And I really appreciate all of you for checking it out. But I also got a lot of questions in the comment section of that video. Yes, I missed the Lost Quest terminal next to the Postmaster. And yes, I ran right past the new elevator down to Zavala's office. I mean, my bad. But there were three things that came up that many people were still curious about. First, the Vanguard Crucible and Gambit armor sets. How exactly do you unlock them? If you hover over an armor piece, it says, Complete Vanguard Weekly Challenge. In this case, at least. Well, this could mean, and I originally thought it meant, the challenges on the Director. Three Vanguard Strikes, three Crucible Matches, 100,000 Point Nightfall, etc, etc. But what you actually need to finish is the Weekly Bounty Challenge. So 8 bounties for each NPC. So I'll turn in my remaining Vanguard bounties to Zavala. And once I hit the requirements of 8 bounties, I receive a Vanguard Prime Ingram. We'll swing by the Cryptarch and cash his puppy in, and I'll receive... a new pair of mittens. Heading back to Zavala, you can see that the gloves we just obtained can be reacquired with the exact same role displayed in his inventory. And I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm hoping that this role is going to reset on a weekly basis. Because another thing I wanted to test out was, are these gloves in the general Vanguard loot pool now? So, let's uh, cash in some Vanguard tokens and find out. A couple of dozen Vanguard packages later, and no new gloves. So, you can take this how you will, but it doesn't look good. And if you happen to know something that I don't, which may be various things, but about these gloves. If you happen to know if they're dropping at the end of strikes, or from bounties, or let me know, alright? Leave it down in the comments. On to question number two, and what are those beams of light in the tower right now? Depending on the time of day and the lighting, you can see three of them shining up in the tower courtyard. Here's the thing. Those have always been there. You just couldn't see them. Destiny 2's lighting engine was retuned a little bit with the launch of Beyond Light. And I'm assuming that these beams of light were originally designed to blend in with the original lighting of the tower. I mean, that's my theory at least. I build buildings for a living, I don't program video games. But I think that's feasible. But all these beams of light are, are the endpoints for the Floor's Lava game. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's an object on the upper tier that says don't pick me up or something to that effect. Pick it up. Your goal is going to be to take that object to one of the light pillars that is now shining brighter than the rest. You can walk on grating, jump on boxes, walk across handrail, but don't touch the floor because after a few ticks, you will die. Because the floor is lava. But after failing a few dozen times because I'm super good at this game, I finally made it over to one for you. And once you step into the light, you can run real fast and jump real high and do all sorts of fun shenanigans in the tower. Alright, last point I gotta make here, and then I'll let you go. I posted earlier that Osiris was spotted in the tower, but the screenshot I posted didn't really show exactly where he was at. So if you're following along on screen, he's right down over here, slinking around in the shadows just to the left of Ikora Ray. Okay, now this is Osiris, right? I mean, I know he's got the outfit, it definitely looks like Osiris, he's got his little alternate dimension Rubik's Cube or whatever that thing is. But he's got his scarf pulled up over his face as he normally does, you can only see his eyes a little bit, and it's just creepy, he's creeping around over here doing something, you, you can't even interact with him. And I mean, this is probably just tied to some future content coming up in Season of the Hunt, but this, this just feels weird, he, he just kind of looks weird to me, I don't know what's going on here. But hey, that's pretty much all I got for you. You know, I just thought I'd make this video to try to clear up any questions you had about things going on at the tower. And if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave it a like. Oh, and consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel to catch more Beyond Light content made by yours truly. If you'd like to catch me live sometime, you can look for Ironworker814 on Twitch. And to contact me, just comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And with that, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you on the next one.